Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with the ANET ET5X. Friends, I created my own custom Benchy, and it's time to try it. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, so if you haven't seen this before, this is my Benchy. I created it in my.sketchup.com, which is online and in a browser, and then I tinkered with it in Tinkercad so I could add the cool little portholes. Now, let's send it to the ET5X. Friends, if you haven't seen the video where I showed this, I will have a link above. I will also have a link above for how to create it in my dad's Sketchup. Alrighty, friends, so here we are in Kira 4.9.1. If we hit open, and we look in my STL folder, there is my.benchy. Uh, when it comes in, it is quite large. I like to print it small. Instead of 160 millimeters, I'm going to type 60. They all scale. And then on this printer, I've got it set so it drops to the bed automatically. I do want to double check my settings. I like to print it 0.3. I'm going to do a 10% infill in cubic. Uh, 260 are fine. I'm going to change this to 50 because it's what it came with. I've got some prints I like to do faster. This one I'm going to slow down so it looks a little nicer. I want to make sure that I've got skirt. And then also, I want to make sure I've got retraction set. So I'm going to type retraction up here. And it'll search for all the retraction parts. It is enabled and it does have 6.5 millimeters of retraction distance. I'm going to just stay with the basic settings for my first time using this setup it says it's going to take one hour and nine minutes and instead of saving the disk I am going to print via USB and without any further ado let's send it to the printer alrighty everybody this is one of those best laid plans moments I uh, set up a time-lapse and it tipped over so you won't have a time-lapse but here is the ET5X printing my tiny Benji So, first things first, pretty darn crisp. There is a little bit of stringing, but it is actually quite minimal compared to my A10T. As you saw, I did double check to make sure that I had retraction on, and I'm going to say that this Benji is pretty darn sweet. Alrighty friends, so as you can see the ANET ET5X is sticking the landing right now. Uh, unbelievably easy to build. Uh, setup in Kira was almost instant. I'm barely tweaking the settings and we're getting some pretty high quality results. Friends, I am going to keep adding other tests so make sure you follow along and of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.